Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to explain real quick uh, what happened. I put out a video and then three weeks and no videos at all. Uh, my laptop, unfortunately, the battery was expanding and causing the screen to separate from the casing. Um, and what I have is actually a Surface Book, so it's more of a laptop than it is or more of a tablet than it is a laptop so it means all the major components are in the actual screen area um, but it's a laptop because it does come with a keyboard that you can separate the screen from and use it in tablet mode but anyway so I took it in to get see if I could get the screen repaired at the time I didn't know what that the the batter was expanding it and causing that separation um, they said they could fix it um, but it was going to be kind of difficult because the screens on these are so fragile and unfortunately when the tech was taking the screen off to get that battery replaced the screen pretty much shattered uh, so they had to order a new screen but unfortunately the they had to order it three times uh the first two times they received the screen demolished um so that's what was taking so long to get it fixed because they'd order it get get it uh, you know be damaged they'd have to order it again and all that jazz but anyway i think today what i want to do is we are going to jump into fortress world um, I the plan is to do these on Fridays um, and before I hop in here I want to uh, quickly say that I've done a lot of work um, since I wasn't able to record after that initial recording back when Fortress World was on a realm it has now since been moved to a server and some things have, some cool things have been added um, and before I do that, though, I need to go in here and I want to, where's my global resources? I am going to actually, um, I want to turn this one off for now. Um, I'm going to leave these on. Um, this was a pad made by Mirha to get rid of all the particles in the nether, um, which kind of helps with recording and just lag in general. Um, though it doesn't lag too much on my laptop, which is good. And this is just, um, I can't remember what all I added in this pack, but I wanted the clear water and the clear glass, which for my base on bedrock, it looks so much better with those packs on. Um, as you can see, my where I've built underwater. Um, so I'm just going to leave that on. I don't know if these will actually affect anything in Fortress World. Because I thought you weren't, even if you tried to use a texture pack, it wouldn't work. But we'll see. Um, so like I said, I've been done a lot of work on the server. So I'm just going to kind of hop in here and just do a tour of what I've been doing um, this is my house it's based on Victorian style um, so you know over here is the little kitchen area and then back here I have some storage and this is where I have a lot of my wood and stuff I haven't got all everything labeled but um, a lot of my wood stuff is in here because um, that seemed to be what I used quite a bit. You know, a little fireplace here. Um, there's the back door. There's a little uh, desk area. And Puma was nice enough to bring me a uh, inner chest as I didn't have the supplies I needed to make one. And Sacred Bee has been doing these cute little uh, newspapers for us, but he hasn't done one in a while. Um, and then upstairs here, it's just kind of a little I've decorated some I still need to do some decorating but I do have a little bit here this here is a little storage area on this is where I've got uh, like I said I haven't labeled everything but my cobble in here um, some redstone and that sort of thing and this here's my bedroom Puma was nice enough to deliver my kitty which I named Simba 
and in here is like my valuables and um, armor and that kind of thing extra armor and out here and is a little kind of balcony but you can also use it maybe as a jump point to if you have wings to you know fly out um, I've been growing spruce trees um, can't remember what I was needing them for I was needing them for some now I don't remember uh, daughter Callie is building a house over in that direction and you can see I've put up a wall and we'll go take a closer look out of this barn um, I did have my horses over here which is really where I'd rather to have them but daughter needs some sheep or needs some wool so we moved the well she moved the sheep over here so they can have access to grass because over here in the barn there I made it so it looked like um, bedding in the in the stalls in there so and this is where Callie is staying right now until she gets her house built I'm in here I want to put some bookcases when I finally get the stuff I need for that then up here uh, this was just kind of a little roof area um, I might put a few barrels in here just for some extra storage I haven't decided yet and right now I, this is where I'm putting past uh, newspapers um, I don't know if I'll just leave those there and leave it like that. I don't know. Um, I might find somewhere else to put them. I might put some bookcases in there or maybe some storage. I haven't decided. And up here, I just kind of have some odds and ends stuff. Um, and yeah, I kind of have a junk one. I haven't got all my storage sorted out yet. And then over here is a little window that you can just look out. I probably won't put anything in there. And then up here is where I have my enchanting set up. And right now I'm trying to work on getting all the bookcases. I've got barrels up there. I may change out all all of this here for barrels um, just so that there's storage up here and then I can have places to put books that maybe I fish up, um, lapis, maybe some spare stuff that needs enchanted. or I, I don't know, I haven't decided yet exactly. I wanna put a shroom light up there for a light and hopefully get rid of that torch. Um, and then I have an anvil up here if you need it for anything. Now, if I get down, there we go. So that's the inside of the house. Um, I did decide to leave the totem over here that Country built me. I had to change out. I did have, I think, outdoors, but zombies kept breaking them, and I just got tired of them breaking and replacing the door, so I just said heck with it and put iron doors on. It doesn't quite go with the bell, but it'll be all right let me sleep real quick here okay and then out here i'm going to take a look at this barn over here and i'm going to work on getting rid of all the to spam torches around get some lighting in here i'm thinking of putting in the areas that i can some chains and suspending some um lanterns in here maybe but we got some cows in here um we do limit kind of the amount of mobs uh in our area that's loaded so i'll have to do some clearing at some point but this this is the the hay that i was talking about um i might actually change out some of the hay um and since i've got the puzzle from growing spruce trees um silk touching some of it and putting the you know spacing it around out uh, in the area to make it look like well, you know make it look like it's lived in by animals and then up there's kind of a hayloft area and like I said the spam torched a bunch of torches up there and I don't like it but I'll address that at some point and this stable here like I said it was originally where I had my horses but Callie needed the wool so we moved the sheep over here and I have them tied up because they kept getting away on me um, but eventually, uh, most of these sheep will probably go, I think, after Callie gets what she needs. And then we'll sort through the horses and keep the horses that we want um, instead of keeping all those. And I may end up, I may just get rid of this barn, um, maybe. And I might maybe just add it as a, you know, take this out and add it as a pasture or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But this is Callie's house back here. And she's building also Victorian style. But she hasn't gotten very far. 
Um, she is in part of the snow biome, so we do get snow. Um, and I should try to keep it cleared out as best I can. And we might have to light it up a lot so it just melts and we don't have to worry about clearing it out. But this is the wall, um, the design that I came up with, which I really, really like. I'm using a lot of shroom lights in this. A lot of stream lines but I think it's turned out really well um, and it will go all the way around uh, boat there was trying to catch a zombie villager because uh, my daughter want would like to have a mending villager or librarian and unfortunately I did finally get a couple caught a couple but they despawned at some point this is just kind of my little workstation right now for working on the wall uh, doing another rack and that kind of thing and I'm thinking this part here where the land is up, um, I don't know whether to dig that out, but I'm actually thinking of just filling all that in so I've got more that becomes one big kind of like barrier island and then figure out a way to connect the wall over the water. Um, and this one's being on an angle. I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. But that's kind of the plan. Like I said, I'm thinking about just filling this in. I'll probably fill it in with dirt mainly. Um, but that will give me a way to connect it, the bridge right here, or the wall right here easier. I haven't got it all in. Um, and then I can just leave. And, or maybe... Hmm, I'm thinking maybe might just put in a dock area like a boat dock here and have an entrance there I think that's what I'm gonna do maybe dig out a little bit of this or or maybe I wouldn't necessarily have to dig it out just put in a dock so you can have boats and stuff um, come in there with a arch of some side type here and then those areas of the wall I can just close in for the most part and uh, do some kind of like iron wall underneath so you can't swim underneath but it blocks it off but and allows the water to flow in and this is just kind of our fields and crops and some of this I may already have put in in that very first episode been using this here to grow the fungus or mushrooms or whatever you want to call them for all the stream lights that I need like I said I got the wall all the way done it not all the way done but I've got it put in down to here I still need to do that he that there um, and this I'll probably close off as well. I just need to, being on the angle, I need to figure out how this, how the wall is going to work being on an angle. Over there is Puma's little turtle habitat from the scavenger hunt that they did here not too long ago that I didn't, unfortunately didn't take part in. And I probably should have, but I didn't get over in time to turn in my diamond block to take part. But I still got to put in the wall here. And this has kind of been changing a little bit. Like it changed up a little bit over there um, on that island when I put it in. I, I changed the way I had it because the, I'm not good at doing these little weird jagged angles. Um, so I was trying to make it straight and square just to be easier on me. But this one's going to be a little bit more difficult to put in. Um, but I will get it. And there's the portal. Um, that's the other thing I need to work on is our tunnel, which I haven't done anything with outside to mob proof it. Country put those totem, that totem there, and I liked it so much that I decided I'm not going to take it down. I'm going to leave it there. And then I have this barrier wall through here. And the wall will extend um, behind the totem and around to there where I haven't done that wall yet. And again, yeah, I'll have to leave a uh, area through there because um, it would make sense 
for it to travel through since that's a river that goes around behind there. Um, and this area over here, ouch, where I have, uh, where I had to do a bit of terraforming to get that wall in. Um, this part doesn't look so bad. Right there a little bit, I, it needs some work. Um, and then back here, this side is not too bad, and I'm okay with the way that it looks. But back here, there's just this whole straight, straight wall. Um, I don't like how that looks at all. Um, so I'm not good with terraforming. So I talked to Mr. Matt Ranger um, that maybe when I can get enough diamonds, figure out how much he would charge me to do it. Um, to come terraform this for me. I'm going to have him do that. Because like I said, I'm not good with terraforming. Um, and then he said that he would. But right now he's got a lot of projects going on. So he's not taking on any new projects right now. But it also gives me a chance to work on... Um, work on getting some more diamonds. Um, I still need to do finish the back side of, you know, putting this on, on this back side. And I'm seeing these donkeys over here. At some point, I think I want to get a couple of donkeys, maybe. And then breed a couple of mules. I just, I'd like to have two horses, two donkeys, and two mules. Um, but I want to go through the horses that I have and decide which ones I want to keep. Um... And I want to keep the best ones. There was something I was just thinking. Oh, I know what it was. I was running around that back side. And I wanted to sh thinking that I need to show you. And I forgot. And I just remembered. So I'm going to run back over here. I had spruce tree. I haven't switched out the podzel yet. Um, I actually might just leave some of the podzel. Instead of turning it all back to grass. Because it just gives it kind of a nice look. And then here. This was where the hole was. Down to the mine area. Um, and I spruced it up, added, added this in, and added it to make it kind of look like those old style basements that you had to get from the outside, um, that was usually connected to the house, but I just did it here. Added the stream lights for lighting. This is where our villager is going to go. I wouldn't mind having a couple, um, but I might have to redesign it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Just so um, there's a, you can do the little bay areas. Because um, I don't think I want them free roaming. Because I don't want them getting out. But I might. Because it wouldn't be that hard to add just another little entrance type thing here. Um, to close it off. And down that way is the mine. And this is something I've been working on. Um, we did a little basic cobble gin. Because sometimes it's easier. If you just need a little bit of cobble. Just come up here and. And get what you need. I still need to decorate a little bit in here. And spruce it up. But this is what I've been working on. Um, it's one of those XP banks. Um, and I'm still trying to get. The bottom. Um, double chest. I decided to do a double chest. But I'm trying to get it full. And we're getting there. Before we use this. So this isn't actually ready yet. To be used. And I probably ought to actually put a bed in here. Um, just so when you're in here at night, you can um, sleep off the day. Because I get a lot of creepers still uh, spawning over here. And moms in general. Um, at night time. Occasionally. And I don't like coming out of there at night and getting bombarded by a creeper. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to show you. That's the base this far. I haven't done the nether tunnel yet, um, but we can pop in there and just kind of show you. I did get it dug out. Uh, we are doing when the update came out. Um, they decided to redo the hub. It was originally you just kind of dug out your tunnel and dug your tunnel or added your tunnel to a tunnel that they had 
kind of designed into the nether hub um, but that's since been changed to four um, main tunnels on the cardinal directions so I'm trying to kind of blast proof um, I've spanned buttons just to keep mom's spawns down for now this is where I've been kind of going out and into the nether and mining up the cobble and quartz and stuff that I need um, this will all change. I haven't ironed out a design yet. Um, I do probably need to get started on that. And then this is our main tunnel that we haven't done yet. Um, I don't know if I want to take on that project. Um, it looks like somebody has done their tunnel. And this is, oh yeah, Sea Jades. And I do like that design. It looks very nice. I don't want to do ice boat roads. I'm thinking about doing this uh, with the soul sand. I'll probably put carpet on it. Um, and like I said, just keep some of these guys from spawning. And then up here, I'll just show you this real quick. Um, I don't think I showed it, but this is... I did do a tour when I did the tour. Um, this is another hub. And now we just have the one tunnel per side, which is... Because these here before had tunnels in them as well. But they decided to go with the cardinal tunnels, which I think works better um, in reality. And then you just have to worry about one main tunnel. Um, the end tunnel that I designed is gone. I don't know what the plans are going to be for that. Um, whoops, and there was a cast. Like I said, that's why I have all these buttons so I don't get gas on. It's too low for them to spawn, but... The buttons will stay until I get a design and get it mob proof because I don't like coming through my portal and having to come face to face with a ghast. It's not fun at all. So I don't know if I actually want to get into any kind of building um, this episode. I just, because there, there was such a big gap between the first episode and... Uh, not being able to cord and still playing on here and I didn't even show you the outside of the house that's the outside of the house um, I do actually there is something I want to do real quick I want to um, I'm trying to remember where scaffold team is I kind of want to give you uh, it looks pretty cool from a, a, above the base um, and I do want to show you that let's see if I got it scaffolding around here somewhere oh I had some scaffolding but I don't know what I've done with it and I need to plop down get what I need um, Puma's doing another shop over in the shopping area that's probably probably should run over there too and show you that what's been going on over there do I not have any scaffolding Oh, I did get some netherite um, mining for blackstone. I did get some netherite um, to make some netherite tools. I'm trying to think. Um, I shouldn't be in there. That shell gerber is what Puma brought me, and it's just blackstone. I need to ask him if he wants his, that shulker back, too. I don't think they'll be in here. I might just have to make some. And I know I've got the stuff to be able to make some. Let's check. Maybe they dumped in here. I forgot to shut my door. I don't have wings on here. Um, I haven't even bothered me. I'm on my laptop now, so it shouldn't be that big of an issue um, flying now, per se. I know that some of them on the multiplayer servers have still been having issues with getting um, flying to work quite right. Well, I don't know what I've done with that scaffold team, so let's just um, make some more. I got plenty of string. So we will just make some. Um, let's make more than that. Where's the bamboo? I need to get these labeled so I know where the heck everything's at. And get better organized. 
Okay, that should be good for now. I still got plenty of string. We can always nope, go in that one. I can always make more. Um, and I know daughter will probably need some. Uh, but she has actually asked if I'd help build her house. So maybe that's something I can do in an episode. Um, let's pick a good spot to, let's go over here maybe. No, I know. Let's go over here. Might get a bigger, wider view. Whoops. Well, I think I'll just go, we'll just go a lot of the stack here. And let's go up here. The scaffolding on my, trying to use scaffolding on my laptop is so much different than on my Kindle. Um, because you don't, you have the little buttons on the side that you have to use to go up and down as opposed to just hitting the space bar. Yeah, this is a pretty good view. And I can't squat, which is the other thing I don't like because I'm all the time falling. And I like to squat so I don't fall off of high places. But here's a big overview. Um, and it's nice too on my laptop because I get a better render distance. So on my Kindle, to go up like this, I would have never have been able to see all of this. So as you can see, the wall ends there, but it'll go around behind the totem and come across there. And then you go back around all of that there and connect up to that other part of the tunnel. So I, it looks like it's still, it needs still a lot to do. Um, I think we're going to put a lighthouse on that little island. So that's also the other reason why I was thinking of um, just making that all land there. And that would also give reason for there to be a dock there, I think. And I, I do like that idea um, of doing that. And maybe I'll add a couple of boats in the water um, just for effect. I want to do something better with the paths instead of just the path blocks I might come up with a path design and I need I don't know if I want to keep that or not I because even building that there with Callie's house back there it kind of detracts from her, her house being just tucked back in that corner but I don't know um, Because I think our house entrance is there, so we can do a path that way um, to connect her house to that, that path. Maybe I will just leave that barn there, that stable, and then run a path to that one. And then I need to run a path from there to the portal. Um, I might change the... I was trying to kind of do a barrier wall um, so it makes it look like it's holding the dirt back or the land back and I don't know if I like it or not because if I do it I have to do it on that side too which I guess it would make sense um, to you know like keep the water from flowing um, up on shore but I don't know yet and like I said, I need to do lighting around the area. Um, I'm thinking about doing kind of like lamp posts of sorts. Um, maybe using the lanterns and the new chains. And I don't know if I want to still have underground lighting because some of the, the clear textures make it where you can see through the leaves. And I don't really like seeing through the leaves. But I need, and we don't have like dirt slabs to where we can, um, light come through but light oh that's right light comes through path blocks so at least i could still do that in the paths where there is a path block because there'll be some path blocks in there it just won't be the whole path um but i think guys um oh we were now nah, i'll do that next time um we'll run over to the shopping district next time and show you kind of what's been going on over there uh we do have a shop Daughter will come up with the idea to sell snow blocks and snowballs and that kind of thing. So we do have a shop for that. Um, 
but I don't expect to sell a whole lot. I do kind of have an idea for maybe doing a fairy shop um, to where it's a service shop and basically anyone can come and hire me to come and organize their storage areas and that kind of thing. I, you know, since I do it anyway, why not get paid for it, right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here and uh, we'll get into some building hopefully next time. We'll see how it goes. I I don't know if I'm going to do this more of kind of, hey, this is what I've been doing on Fortress World um, and do tours. I would really like to do some tours because there's some really awesome builds on here. Um, so I might ask some of the other members, depending on where they're at, if, if they would care if I do tours of their bases for an episode. Uh, but I And I kind of just wanted to do these anyway just to kind of help promote Puma's uh, server and his and promote Fortress World. I know they're going to have some the Friday nights fights I think are going to be coming back. We've got a PvP arena in the process and I know there's going to be some other builds um, in the gaming area. I'm not good with the games. I however would like to see an archery game of some kind. Um, I don't know if I can maybe talk somebody else into designing that since I'm not good with that kind of thing and I'm not good with redstone and there's so many different ways you can do it but I don't know anyway guys I'm gonna end it here I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one bye